Hello everybody and welcome to your next Allegro 5 tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be learning about the Allegro native message box that you could use to actually display error messages or other certain messages to the people that are playing your game or application. So if you haven't had an error using the Allegro library yet then you probably have not seen the Allegro message box in action. So let's do some code and I'll show you how to utilize the message box and you can see it in action. So below the display, so if the display is created then we want to create a message box, a sample one just to show you some different stuff you can do with it. So we're going to do undersc um, al underscore show underscore native underscore message underscore box. Now I, I know that's a bit hard to memorize but just um, you're gonna have to get used to it sorry but um, in the first parameter ask for our um, display you can put null in the parameters but if you put null then it will appear behind the game window and generally if you have an error or a message box you want it to appear above the window so you, if you want to appear if you want it to appear above the window and not as a part of the game window if you want it to sort of like be a part of the game window then you will actually put the game windows name right there so in the next one ask for a title now every window in your operating system should have a title right here in Visual Studio the title is YouTube Allegro 5 series dash Microsoft Visual Studio right so every single um, thing has a title so um, it's always good to generate generally state the title of your message box and you can always put this as null but I'm gonna put message box title to for you to better understand what its function does the next one is the heading now this is what you wanna what you're gonna be talking about so normally we use message boxes for errors so I'm gonna put the heading as error and then our message I'm gonna put um, display window uh, could not be shown even though this, this isn't true it's, we're just doing this to test it out for our buttons we'll leave this as null and for our flags we'll leave this as null and I'll get to those in a second so if you run this program we get a box that will pop up on the screen and the title is message box title we see our heading error and the phrase we wrote display window cannot be shown and we see the symbol right here well sometimes you want to have special symbols to signify what you're talking about so this is the default symbol and if you notice when the window popped up you might have heard a certain sound it made when the window popped up different sim um, computers or operating systems might make different sounds uh, depending on the flags that you specify right, right here will determine the sounds what the sounds will make when the windows when the pop-up window occurs if that even matters to you or not so Allegro has um, five built-in flags and I think you can create your own using the buttons I've tried it and it didn't work properly so I will not be teaching about um, buttons you can search up, up about it on the Allegro manual and if you want you can inbox me on how to do it properly and I'll teach the rest of the viewers how to do it but I haven't really figured out how to work that yet but I'll get into that in the future if I figure it out anyways so for the flags the first one since it's an error message we're gonna put Allegro underscore message box make sure it's all in caps sorry underscore message box underscore error and if we run this program we're gonna see how it diff differentiates from the first one so it made a different sound effect for me I'm not sure about you and the symbol has changed to an error symbol default to your actual operating system depending on your operating system this symbol should be different okay um so I believe that if you right click here I'm not sure and we go to go to declaration or yeah if we go to declaration then we can see 
um, we could see the five functions that we can use, the five different enums that we can use that have different functions right here. Now these stuff are for um, different things that we will be learning in the future and stuff like that. But these five are the different options that you can put in the flags. So we can put warn, we can put error, ok underscore cancel, yes underscore no, or question. Notice that all of them start with Allegro underscore message box, so only the endings are different. So now let's get back to our program. So we've seen what error does. So let's put one this time. And let's compile this. And when it pops up, we get a different symbol and a different sound effect for me. I don't know about you. But yeah, and we get the symbol here. Now let's put in question this time. And when we run it, we should be getting a question mark right about now. Yes, we should get a question mark right here saying that we may be asking a question. Now, um, as you can see, the only button that we saw was OK. We'll say we want to ask, um, we want to have a, an OK option and a cancel option. We can always do that with OK underscore cancel. So we can choose between OK and Cancel, either one. And last but not least, we can put Yes, sorry, we can put Yes or Yes underscore No for the Yes or No option. So for you visual learners that want to see what happens, um, you can select Yes or No. Okay, simple enough. Now you may be asking, um, what if I want to have an error message along with the, or say I have, I want to have a question, the question symbol along with yes or no. Well, it's possible to d use different flags all at once. The one rule is that you can't use OK, um, OK underscore cancel with yes and no, and you can't use warn question or um error all together at once. So you could do something like this. So we do Allegro message box underscore error or no, let's put question and then what you do is put this symbol right here this straight line symbol there to separate the two so we're, we're doing it so you only can have one symbol and then on um, one user defined option you can't have two user options or two symbols at once you're gonna only have one you could only have one of each. So if we display a question like this, um, do did you visit codingmadeeasy.ca? Uh, let's name the header question. Then it should have been did you visit the community? Yeah, you guys should all join the community. But anyways. So did you guys visit codingmadeeasy.ca? We have the option that we could choose yes or no. Right? Now you may be asking, you guys are like, okay, I could choose yes or no, but like how do I know when the user has selected yes or no? Well that is a very good question if you were wondering. Well, um the AL native message box returns an integer value. So what we could do is create an integer variable to find out the return value. So what I mean by that is this. So let's put int and let's name it value. Okay? So um we want to find so at the end of this program if you select either yes, no, okay, or cancel or whatever, it will return a value. Now on the default Allegro manual it will say that if you click yes or okay it will return a value of one and if you click no or cancel it will return a value of two and if you close the window any other way it will return a value of zero it, with my experimentation if you click no or cancel it will return a value of zero rather than a value of two so you, it might be different on your operating system or your computer but i'm pretty sure it returns a value of zero so i have included iostream here and we're gonna use the iostream to see our return value. 
So I'm going to put STD C out and we're going to put value and we're going to end the line. And I, um, another um, cool function in Allegro is AL underscore rest. It allows us to pause our program for a set number of seconds or if you put or a certain amount of milliseconds or anything you want to do whatever you need to do so in this case we're gonna pause it for three seconds okay and say I want to do for half a second then I'll put 0 0.5 etc etc so let us run this program so if I press yes then value is going to be equal to 1, right? Let me run this one more time. So if I press no, it returns a value of 0, right? So then you can say from that, so then you can, if you ask them a question like, did he visit codingmadeeasy.ca, then you can put if value is equal to 1, then just be, you could be like, you could put an option on the screen saying, you are a great person or whatever or you can say thank you or whatever and you can put else you need to check out the website and you're gonna be working with graphics so don't worry about the console window I'm just showing you different options you can work with so let's test this out to see if it works So if you click yes, it says you are a great person. And wait for it to close. And let's try this one more time. If you click no, you need to check out the website. So that's how you determine what the user has pressed in the program. Now, I believe there's one more thing I should let you know. Now, the Allegro message box and stuff is an enum. And if you look at it, you could see the value is equal to 16. If you look at it, it says Allegro me underscore message box underscore question is equal to 16. And this is equal to 8. So I never tested this out before, but I'm pretty sure this should work. Because um, if you look at it, when you're creating um, a message box, so AL underscore show underscore native underscore message box, if you look at it, it says int flags. So you can indeed put integer values into there. So let's see. So if we replace this with 16 and 8, let's see if this can work. So 16 slash 8, and let's see if this actually works. Yes, it still works. You can still select the option yes or no, and the program still runs fluently. So that is it for this tutorial. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching and bye.